In today's video, I'm going to talk about what to do if you're worried your phobia will come back. Hi, I'm Christopher Paul Jones, the breakthrough expert. So, so often when people have a fear, phobia, anxiety, and they've got over it, they start doing things like worrying about, oh, I feel good right now, but what will happen in a week's time? That's a bit like people imagining their emotions are like the flu. They're like a cold in that you can catch it. It will just sneak up on you and grab you. But the fact of the matter is it's not. You have to do a series of things in order to be afraid. So I'll, I'll use an analogy. Someone once said to me about gravity. They said, you know, people go, why do things fall to the floor? And then one day a scientist went, that's gravity. And people go, oh, well, that explains it then. Once it's given a word, it's somehow dismissed. And when that comes to your fears, when that comes to phobias, people say something like, I have a phobia of flying. And other people go, oh, that's answered it. And what they don't realize is behind that word, there's a whole lot of internal patterns that go with it. So in order to be what's called fearful or phobic, you have to have a belief about whatever that thing you're experiencing. You have internal chatter, you say something to yourself in your head, you make an image and give it meaning, you have feelings in your body, tension, stress, all those things affect how you feel, affect that phobia. And so it's important to know that that's also true for feeling good. You have to be thinking, feeling, acting and breathing a certain way. So when that's gone, when that's changed, when you've done some work often on the history and scrambled those emotions, when you've maybe tried some of my techniques or listened to the free audios, which by the way, free plug, they, they are freely available currently. Um, so you can download my, either my anxiety program, my phobia program or my flying phobia program. And they come with audios, guidebooks and other things which are useful if you download them in the uh, little I button above, you can get them for free. But you've tried those techniques and you've done them and you go, oh, I feel better, I feel better. But then you start to worry, well, what if it comes back? And it's going, rather than going it, know that you're in control, know that it's, you're doing something with your thoughts in that moment to feel good. You're doing something with your feelings. You're doing something with the images. So you have that within you. You know how to feel good. Then if this thing starts to creep back up on you, you're obviously one of those patterns has changed what you're focusing on, what you believe, what you're saying in your head, the tension, how you're carrying yourself. And of course, up until this point, it's probably been all unconscious. But when you can suddenly be aware of that, you can go, oh, if it's coming back, okay, well, I just need to change what I'm focusing on. Okay, I need to change the images I'm making. And so you can shift that. Know and know that you're in control. And the more that you can realize that emotions are not something you catch, but something you do, the more you can be in control. Not just of your phobias, not just of your fears, but in any area of life. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and of course share. And until next time, I'm Christopher Paul Jones.